Soon, immediately after delivery, a baby will be tested for HIV with a Samba 2 machine, and the status will be known within a short time. These machines will be stationed in the delivery units. Within two hours, we shall be able to get the results. So we shall not lose children who may go back to the villages and they cannot be traced. The current testing is uh, centralized, which means uh, all the samples are sent to a central laboratory. So that would take time. This system involves taking samples to about 77 hubs in the country from points of origin, which are then sent to Kampala Central Laboratory, causing a delay in the release of results. Usually about two weeks. And in that process, some mothers are not willing to bring back their babies because of the long time period for waiting. The point of care machine will help transform the lives of the tens of thousands of especially HIV exposed infants who have a 50% chance of early death if HIV infection is not diagnosed within the first six weeks of life. Different health officials including lab technicians, nurses, midwives and counselors are to be trained on its usage. For Samba 2 you don't need refrigeration so you can store it at room temperature. The machine is multi-purpose. It can also be used to detect the viral load in adults and children on ARVs for up to 19 minutes. Loads Nadella, the Director of Regulatory and Scientific Affairs at Diagnostics for the Real World, says the Samba machine can also detect other subtypes of HIV. The Cambridge team has already given instruments and reagents to four countries, Malawi, Kenya, Zimbabwe and Uganda, to validate tests already done by the team. In Uganda, scale-up is to be done after pilot in selected health centers. Florence Alimba, NTV.